Hello everybody and welcome, it's Two Video Tuesday, I'm Son of Mogaf and this is Colony Survival. Bunch of stuff. Over the last couple of weeks, yeah, I've been trying to sort out the food problems in the colony and I did a lot of work. A lot, a lot of work. A really very large amount of work towards that goal. And I'm going to start off by taking you guys through some of it. This is, the, this is just me looking out over the lake. Um... So where do I start? Yeah, look at all this that I've filled in. All of that. I've also built these. Oh, hi guys. Look at all the colonists. Look, there are so many now. There was a lot before. So, yeah, I, I've I've filled in all of this. I, I believe all the ground level plots are, in fact, taken up. They're used. They're full. Look. Look at all the cotton. God damn. Look, there's so much of everything everywhere. It's a little crazy. And we go over here, look. Just, there's just all of everything. Tons of everything everywhere. Like, god damn. Yeah, I built these. Let me just hop down here. Hoppity hoppity. Is anyone actually farming these? Are you farming these? It looks like he's farming these. Right, all right. I'll make these platforms up here. And I started just with this outline so I could add some more berry farmers. I literally just doubled them up because I was at, almost out of berries and now I've got a massive surplus, which is awesome. But, oh, God. It's... Uh, things are still... It's still pretty, pretty bloody crazy. I'm not going to lie. Because this is what it took to catch up. I had to fill in every ground level, or sea level, I should say, technically, plot with uh, wheat and barley to keep up. And I also had to build these and fill these up. You can hear them merrily like chunking their way through it. I did fill up the whole platform in the middle with beds. If I go under, look, that's where the water would normally be. Like here. Oh god, it does that every now and again when my mouse swings off wildly. It only happens in this, but yeah, the water like troughs are here. And I just put wood down and put beds on there because I was having a bed problem. Not anymore. I've got all the beds I'll ever need. I also have 446 colonists. I don't remember how many I had last time. Well, uh, this time last week. But it's... It's still quite... I don't know. It's still catching up. I still need to leave it and give it a chance to balance itself out. Because the wheat goes up to quite a lot, but then it plummets. It absolutely, like, nosedives the amount into the floor, and it gets quite scary in terms of food, which is still in the red up here. It's it's just... It, there's just so much bread that I need to make every single day. 371. I don't know what I've got the cook set to make. The lighting is still weird. Let's go and have a look. And you can see, look in here. They're, they're making lots of New World meals, which I actually have the potatoes and tomatoes and uh, chicken meat for. The chicken meat is still quite low, but I have the barley to support more if I need more. What I don't really have is the space, but they don't use up a lot of space, so I'm sure I can find some. You can see, look, I, I got a bunch more grinders and I got some more cooks. And they are barely keeping up. It's, it's pretty mad at the moment. Let me just check to see what the amounts are in terms of bread. 350. And I'm actually using 371 a day. Oh, God, what don't they have now? That's honeycomb. You see, well, every problem that I solve, it it creates more problems, and you need more people to fix those problems, and it, it turns into this, like, infinite loop. Like, I 
a lot of the comments that I get on my colony survival videos are um, along the lines of, along the lines of, wow, you really stuck with this. And most people just give up. And when this is like when you have to do stuff like this to support a colony. I, I kind of get why, to be honest. Uh, while building this, I was like, this is bloody ridiculous. This is insanity that I have to do this. But I'm going to stick with it. I am. I'm going to do the thing. At least for a little while longer. And you see, I've actually got a lot of wheat now. But uh, that, will, that will plummet down to, like, zero in no time at all. The other problem that I have now is that I've gone from having a manageable zombie situation to an almost unmanageable zombie situation. I'm going to need a lot more guards. A lot more. And I think for the first time in a long time, I'll take you guys through a nighttime period. Normally I cut them out. I'll go and support the guards with zombie murder. And, you know, cut back in the mornings. I'm going to take you through a nighttime period, which actually isn't that too far away. I've been yakking almost all day. Just to show you the kind of situation that I've put this colony into. I feel like the food situation is improving and manageable now. Although, this empty bucket situation isn't awesome, is it? Let me see if I can go do something about that. I'll just jump up to the crafting level look at all these guys look they're making new world meals just almost non-stop because you I, I need so many to keep the colony going uh new world meal 250 a day i don't think it's even set that high it's set to 240. so i'm i'm probably at some point gonna build another story on top of this move all these cooks up there and just have this as the grinders and ovens level and then have a different like cook level on top of that let's jump up here oh god these guys and their bloody copper nails and their copper parts and their coppery copper stuff like please please just Make the damn... Yeah, make them. What are they called? Buckets. Oh, let's see, like, that guy's going to bed, which means it's night time. Empty buckets, yeah. Okay. Let's go do zombie murder. I keep getting lost as well now. I mean, that happened before, but it's it's happening, like, even more now. Uh, There's the front. It's over here. Yeah, the amount of zombies that I've got falling down upon my uh, my colony is sort of ridiculous. Like, it's a stupendous amount. And tons of surviving to the day period. I've not had them get in yet. Which is a good thing. Like, I know I said just a couple of minutes ago that it's an unmanageable amount. But my guys are managing it. I say unmanageable amount. What I mean is, is that I'm not managing it very well. Everybody else is managing it for me. Got plenty of ammunition, I think. It doesn't look... It's way too dark. I should put some more light out there, I guess, so it can be seen. Oh, look at that. I actually hit something. Go me. Look, they, they spawn over there and they come round here and they spawn in the water here. They spawn back here on the hills and it's... My guards can't really keep up. There's always a few that, you know, survive. So the, the, the best way to deal with that is to get more guards. But more guards means more food, and I'm kind of short on food, so I want it to catch... I want, like, these numbers here to be very good rather than in flux as they currently are. You can see, like, things... Oh! Oh, that guy moved just as I was shooting him. 
Gonna get a little bit closer. My aim is not. Do you see what I mean? My aim is not great. I said, uh, and then I got two misses in a row, three in a row. God damn! Look how many there are. Oh no! No 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 no! I don't want to sink. There are zombies down there. Sometimes they spawn, and they they'll go under the water here for some reason. Uh, that guy and that guy. Mostly, I spend my nights taking out these um, lower level ones so my guards can concentrate on like the red eyed ones and the green eyed ones. But these ones, like these faster ones, they do sneaky their way through. I, I missed the one I was aiming at and hit some other one by almost by accident. I mean, it's not by accident. I was going to kill it anyway, but. And it doesn't help that they stack up on each other as well. Look at, look how many there are. I'm going to have to do something about this. But I'm going to also have to, like, I'm gonna say, wait for the food situation to sort itself out. It, I might have to do some more work on that. Oh, there we go. It would be in my best interests as well to get so, to maybe put some guards on this on the back part, like these ones that are sneaking through. They're not even sneaking; they're strolling right by. Look, just because there's too many of them. But what I'm thinking of doing is doubling up the amount of guards that there are out the front. I might just put them everywhere around the outside. I've got quite a lot of happiness. And I've got some luxuries that aren't like being distributed. So I can get more if I need to. But I felt, you know, I didn't want to immediately do something about the zombie situation. Because I wanted to show you guys what the zombie situation was. That makes sense. Look how many there are. Come on, come on. Oh dear. I don't think I'm going to bother with the other types of guard. Like the crossbow and the um, the normal bow. I think I'm just going to stick with the matchlock ones. The added range more than makes up for their slow reload speeds. I mean, the guards have gone to bed by now. Look, look, look at all those that made it through. And these are the fast ones as well. Like, I think I mentioned last week that I don't mind the zombies being alive at the end of the night because they can't make it round in a day. By the time they get back to the front of the colony, the guards have you know, got out of bed and to their posts. And so they just get slaughtered because there's a short time between when the guards go back to their posts and when the zombies start spawning again. That bullet go right through that zombie's back then. I feel like it did. I... Die, thank you. Yeah, more problems that I've caused for me. And this is even ignoring that stuff that I need to do in the other colonies. Is it the Tropics colony? I feel like it's the Tropics colony. They've got research to do that requires potatoes and tomatoes. It's why I came here to start this colony. So I could do all... Oh my good God. So I could do all the unique research. I mean, that's the goal, right? you get all the unique research done well technically all of the research done but oh my good god so i've got all that still to do back in the tropics colony but i'm not going to go to the tropics colony and 
you know, do that research stuff when this colony is still in a bit of a mess. It's mostly my fault. I've mismanaged things. <laughs> I've either been too slow to react to problems or just not noticed them. Or overreacting to problems. That's a thing that I do. Oh. Good God, there's still so many of them. What I should do is, like, take a mental note of how many zombies there are, and then find out how many zombies a, a guard can kill in a night. And just get that amount. Maybe a few more. I did have a formula for how many guards you need, and it was something like one guard for every 15 zombies plus one. It was something like that, but so much has changed that I don't think it's relevant anymore. Again, that's something that maybe I'll do a video on. I'll do, you know, guard testing just to see how many zombies each type of guard can take out in a night. I'm not sure about an objective way to do that, though. It, there's, there's still so many. Look, they're queued up right back to the corner, at least. Is, is that one there stood still, not moving? It, he didn't look like he was moving to me. And this is going to be a huge problem. I know full well that if I quit to the main menu and then reload this... <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got a bit of a rough voice today. Yeah, if I quit to the main menu and then reload this colony, all these zombies will be gone. But I don't want to have to deal with problems like that, especially considering the devs are going to change that. They're going to save... I don't know if they're going to do it in the next patch or in a couple of patches or, you know, in the next big patch you know that changes the the version i don't know if they're gonna do that but they are gonna change it so that um the the zombies will be persistent in the world they're not going to despawn like ever i guess you could despawn them by turning them off and then turning them back on again but again i don't really want to do that it's, not really cheating. I mean, the option to do it is right there in the menu. Oh my god, there are zombies still here, look. But, yeah, it's, it's also, you know, cheesing it somewhat unnecessarily. I am still... I've been out all day and all... Well, all night and all day. Oh, I accidentally punched that zombie. I'm still not caught up. I'm still not even close to being caught up. But the guards will come out momentarily. They'll get up on their stations and clear out all these ones. But again, that leaves a, you know, an unkilled amount of zombies for me to deal with. And I could be in the colony sorting stuff out while the colonists aren't working. Instead of moving stuff around in the middle of the day like I normally do and disrupting things. But yeah, this is kind of what I do while I'm waiting for my colony to, to level out a little bit. Make a bunch of changes and then wait to see how big that change that you've made affects the colony. If it's a lot of change or a little change. Oh, God. And then, yeah, you go back to fixing the colony. Because I'm impatient, I just constantly fix problems, which causes more problems, which causes more zombies normally, which causes more problems, which... And it's like this whole, whole thing. I'm not blaming anyone for it. I could be like, oh, the devs, oh, the devs are rubbish. They've they've got an unbalanced game. It's, And although I do feel like that's valid, this game is grossly unbalanced. 
the biggest imbalance is in my head. <laughs> and sometimes I'm, like, saintly patient, and other times I'm not in the slightest bit patient. Especially when I'm getting restless, like I want to move on from here and do that stuff in the tropics so that I can then move on from the tropics and start the last colony that we need in the Far East. Having a colony in each biome I think is a thing that not a lot of YouTubers who play Colony Survival bother to do. They, they quit. And that's fine, you know. Say, so people enjoy things a different amount, and it is easy to get burnt out when there's a lot to do in a game, and you're just like... And even when you've done it, you have to do it all over again somewhere else. It gets a bit repetitive, but... I kind of like it. Like, right, I've done all that stuff, and I made all the mistakes in the world. Let's go to the next colony and make the same mistakes all over again. Because I never learn. Oh god, now I'm out of bloody bullets. Yeah, I, I, th I think maybe in the next... Between episodes, maybe? I'll sort out the the, the problem with not having enough guards. I might. I think I said that already, didn't I? That I'm just going to put them in every available position. Just, like, spam the guards, and then I'll make sure that they've got enough ammunition. How, how did I miss? How? Yeah, then I'll make sure they've got enough guns and ammo to actually do their jobs properly. And uh, then I'll move on, I guess. Did I finally get through the backlog of zombies? I might have finally got through the backlog of zombies. I know there was still a few walking around, but I don't care too much about them. So one night's worth of zombies <laughs> took me, what, two nights and a day to get through. Ridiculous. Uh, excuse me. Thank you. Yeah, so there's some stragglers left, but you, you can see the zombie situation, especially without my support, is going to get out of control very, very quickly. Especially since I'm going to be an idiot about it and only use the matchlock guns, that's going to make things worse, because I need, then I need, you know, people to make guns and to make the ammo, and I need the miners to support the materials they need for that. And I could... I could just give them a bunch of bows or do some guns, some crossbows, you know, like I've done in the other colonies. I, ju I just think, you know, these are better. I like the long range and I like the one hit kills. Yeah, so, so I'm back doing now what I was doing previously. <laughs> I may be caught up for, what, a half night? A quarter of a night? Before I'm back to this, oh my god, situation where I'm cleaning these zombies out. But uh, it's not something that I've needed to do. I just wanted to demonstrate to you guys exactly what the situation is. Since I've done so many changes in the actual colony itself, I think showing you the roll-on effect from that is... I don't know, it just feels important for some reason. I don't know if anyone cares about my zombie murder. Let's have a look. They've definitely stopped spawning now. So I've got all these ones down here. All. All of. Oh god, all of these down here. Look. All of them. There's so many. There are so. God damn many. Oh my good god. This is more than I even expected there to be. And I've been prattling on now for half an hour about how many goddamn zombies there are. But you notice how like high the sun is, look. 
The guards, the nighttime guards are still out. And the sun is what? Not that far off being midday. This is what? 9 a.m.? Something like that? My guards are still out doing the zombie murder. God bless them. The, the ammo amount is getting quite low. If I double up the amount of guards, that's definitely going to be a problem, isn't it? There we go. They've finally gone to bed, look. I, 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 I feel like they stay out for so long and they come back really quickly as well, but... Again, I shall not, I shall not complain. So yeah, I'm going to wrap up the episode. I apologise if it, it's like a, an episode of the kind you guys don't like. It's oh god, why did I do that? Oh look, there's a zombie there. I got my ankles nibbled by a water zombie. So yeah, as I say, I apologise if it's just a, a, an episode you guys don't like of me killing zombies and waffling on about zombies and guards and whatnot. But as I say. I've changed so much in here that I just wanted to go over them and show you the effects they've had rather than spread it across another, what, 12 episodes or something? Since building all that stuff took me probably about six hours in total. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's Colony Survival. I'm Son of Mogef. Subscribe if you haven't done that. If you've got suggestions, hints, tips... Um, general chit chat questions, whatever. Put all those down in the comments section, and I'll um not be able to respond to them because YouTube is still playing me up. Yeah, that's the thing that needs fixing. But make the comments, and I'll I promise I will answer them when I have the ability to do so. Come back tomorrow. I'll be playing species. Um. I'm not sure what I'll be doing. I did a weird werewolf thing last week. I might do more of the same this week. I have yet to decide. Again, if you've got suggestions, comment section. Oh, so, uh, yeah. I'll, I'll see you soon. If the zombies don't eat me.